So let's start off in center. Oh, enjoy coming down from busy mind into body. Bring the feet about hip width apart, bend through your knees, tuck the hips, lift your ribcage, shoulders. Bringing alignment throughout the spine. Let's come into gentle movement of hips, first of all. Swaying back and forth. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're gonna move up into now the rib cage slide. And bring movement to the arms. So in this session, we're gonna enjoy exploring and adding to our shimmy. Shimmies are so health giving, they're so much fun. Let's move into a circle of the hip, now bring it out to the side, bring it back to the side, bring it forwards. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm going to take it around the other direction, really warming up through the hips. faster perhaps you could bring in that element of <laughs> layering turning your whole body the same direction as your circle perhaps a half circle forwards half circle back center all the way around. Ah. You could imagine passing something from one hand to the other, circling round. Turn your whole body with that. Coordinating that circle of hips with the circle of your arm and then the circle of your whole body. Now if this is a level too much for you, just bring it back down. So you could do this perhaps your circle and your hands and then add in the other element as you feel ready. Let's take that around the other way now. So we're gonna get going with that circle. Nice. Add in the circle of your hands. So what we're doing here is as the hips go back, your hands come forwards. As your hips go forwards, the hands come back. Did I say that right? I think so. <laughs> it's one thing doing it. It's another thing trying to then articulate what you're doing. <laughs> it's like a, a layer. It's like layerception. <laughs> Bring it all the way around. So you're turning the same direction as your hip circle. Wow, a bit faster. <laughs> wow, drop flick. Step back, other side. Wow. Step and flick the hip up to the side. Step, hit, step, hit, step, hit, step, hit. Good travel. Let's travel forwards and back now. So it's a sweeping motion with the foot. 
if you don't have so much space, you can make your movement really small, or you can just do this on the spot. And slide the hip out to the side. Ah, bring it back. Bring it forwards. Figure of eight. Wow. Let's reverse that eight now. to the side and then shoulders you could hit upper camel shoulders hit upper camel shoulders so when I say upper upper camel so what we've got is a reverse camel and it's focused more on your upper half because your hips are already planted they're already grounded at that point and so you can't really bring that roll of the hips into the movement. And so it starts actually from here upwards. So it's almost like a half camel through your upper half. Let me show you that again. So if we look at just the technique of that movement itself, you're planted through your hips. So just stand in your basic stance for now, nice and grounded. And then your rib cage, you're gonna lift through the lower section of your rib cage up and out. So imagine a ribbon attached to the low section of rib cage, and you're gonna come up and out like this. Yep, and then you're gonna to continue to roll the movement all the way up as your lower section comes back into neutral, and then you align into neutral all the way through your spine. Let's try that, I'll try that facing this way now. So you're gonna take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, we're gonna lift through the rib cage in the low section, and then you're gonna roll all the way upwards and bring it back into center. So it comes up like this into center. Up like this into center. So imagine that you're kinda, of, you want to set your whole rib cage on a shelf, perhaps. So it kinda of comes up like that. It comes up like that. And make sure you return into neutral afterwards so that you could perhaps repeat the movement again, or just so that you're in your most elegant and health-giving position for the next movement, whatever is to come. So in its entirety, that combination was like so. So we're here, you're gonna step out to the side, and as you step out to the side, you're gonna shift your weight onto that foot and you're gonna hit your hip up and out just in that last moment on the beat. So we're here, let's do that again. We're here in basic stance. Let's place hands anywhere for now, just somewhere that steadies you and keeps you grounded and balanced. So what we're gonna do, give me one second. I'm just gonna, so in our live class here, I'm just gonna open the um, waiting room. Somebody's connection just dropped out. So we are good to go. I'll notice when you dive back in there. Okay. So we shifted our weight onto that leg, gradually coming out towards the side. And it's directly out to the side, although you could do this on a diagonal as well. So if you imagine your audience are all along here and you've given focus and attention to your audience stage center, you could then go off to stage right um, or stage left, step diagonally and so step diagonally and hit the hip out. So you're here, hit the hip, and then roll upwards like that. And then we added a shoulder shimmy on top. Let's do that again, we're here. So either out to the side or diagonally, whichever you prefer, ready. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or you could do 
faster and you could say one, two, three, and a four. That's, that's nice actually. So we do one, so we're coming over, we do one, two, three, and a four. Lovely, let's try that to the other side. Let's do it slow first. So we're in center here. We're having a change up of music. Are you ready? All right, let's give it a go. Bring a few omis in. Here we go, we're gonna step and then hit, roll up, shimmy. Wow, wow. It's very goddess, isn't it? It's very bastet. Cat god. Cat goddess, I should say. It's very, yeah, it feels very feminine, very feline. So we're here, or anywhere you prefer. So you're gonna step that foot, slide into there, hit, roll up. And my hips crept into that one, did you notice? You could do that, you could hit and then roll upwards with the full reverse camel. Or you can plant your hip, roll upwards, upper half. I like that one for its groundedness and then its uplifting quality. Um, see what you feel. You can have some fun with that. We're gonna have a, have a move on. Well, I suppose we're gonna have a move on, yes. We're gonna have a move on now and have a little look at some shimmies because who doesn't love a shimmy? So let's start off then with this most basic of shimmy, arguably. For me, it's the most basic anyway. Uh, in other dance forms, it has been adopted and it's now referred to most commonly as jazz hands. <laughs> and all that jazz. And so, <laughs> You're literally, it's through your forearm, you're rotating forwards and back through your forearm like this. Your hands are quite wide, it has quite a Nubian feel. And you can alternate one hand then the other, or just bring them up to speed right in here. And this could be emulating the sun, the rays of the sun. They descend down onto air and shimmer across your body. Or it could be emulating the rays of the sun as they catch the light on the water on the Nile. It's quite mesmerizing, isn't it? But the other thing you'd be noticing is it's quite toning as well. <laughs> Do you feel that? So we use these muscles all, all the time, but you're maybe not using them to their full ability. So if you feel that that was quite whew, intense there, just give that a stretch out. Just bring your fingers in towards you and upwards as well. Same on the other side. You're gonna stretch out through there and upwards like that. So this is a really, really gorgeous shimmy to have in your repertoire and I think it's one that's often forgotten about, but it's really beautiful. It's really nice for, you know, you could create a beautiful shape with your body, whatever it might be, and just have that shimmer. And your audience's eye go with that, don't they? All right, so that's one. Let's have a little look at another. Maybe, hmm, let's dive right in here. Let's go for a choo-choo shimmy. Whoa. Usually whenever I say that in here, there's a train goes past out back. I don't hear one yet. I don't hear one yet, but it could happen. <laughs> All right, so choo-choo shimmy. Wow, there's many parts to choo-choo shimmy. Choo-choo shimmy asks 
of you that you have a good grounded basic shimmy through your knees. So if you have that down already, so let's just recap on that. So you're getting two for one here. <laughs> I'm good value. <laughs> so let's bend through the knees. But as you bend through the knees, rather than bringing your knees over your toes, I want you to sit down into it a bit so that the knees stay relatively where they are and you sit back and down like this. Okay, then bring your hips in neutral, tailbone to the floor. This is gonna protect your back. It's also gonna protect your knees. And then what we're doing is we're bending even more through the knee and extending some of the way, but we've still got a full bend through there. And you're gonna drop, 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 drop. And you're gonna bring that up to speed. Whatever speed you fancy, right in there. And so, Choo Choo Shimmy is gonna use that shimmy that we just did, basic Egyptian knee shimmy there, and it's gonna merge that with, if you visualize, I like to visualize seagulls or some sort of bird who's trying to bring the worms up through the air. It's such a beautiful imagery as matched by this beautiful piece of music. Think of it, think of those seagulls doing that right now as this music plays. <laughs> and so, we're gonna be like that, but perhaps let's visualize maybe more elegant. <laughs> but they are quite elegant when they do it, no? <laughs> and so, you're gonna be stepping. Step, 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 step. Wow, what's happened? Mercury retrograde. <laughs> and so what you could also imagine is that you're stepping on the desert and the sand is red hot. It's red hot sand. So it's ouchy, 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 And you want to really limit the amount of time that you stand on that really, really hot sand. So you're spending more time in the air than what you are on the ground. You get me? Okay, give that a go. Now I want you to try and do that whilst keeping your height steady and bring your hips into alignment and lift through your rib cage. And then free up through your waist and allow that first shimmy that we did, that knee shimmy, to creep in to that step, 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 step. Wow, well done. Bring it into center. Okay, so, whoo. If you were doing that along with me there, you will no doubt be feel, do you feel that? Huh, uh, <laughs> it's really toning and strengthening. It's wonderful for all of your muscles, particularly through your thighs and your calf muscles in your low leg as well. We're gonna do a nice stretch at the end, so don't worry about that. But it is really, really good for releasing, uh, for strengthening, sorry. So one of the things with the choo-choo shimmy that I would like you to just be careful of is your knees. So it can be quite intensive, quite intense for your knees. Um, it can be, yeah, a little overworking on knees. If, say you don't necessarily have the strength in your knees or um, you're of a particular age or you just wanna protect the longevity of your knee joints. Oh my gosh, so, so important. Um, and so, as we step, 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 we're only going to use this shimmy very sparingly. So you're not gonna do it for very long. You could layer it with a slide or something else. So you're not gonna use this shimmy very long, but you're going to use it effectively. So whenever you do do that shimmy, really see if you can go for it. 
Um, don't go beyond your own body's limitations, of course. Honor the signals that your body sends. If it doesn't feel, if it doesn't feel right, sink your feet back down again. And just come into that flat-footed knee shimmy. Now, one of the things also to think about within uh, this, this shimmy is, what was I gonna say? Oh, it's in there, it's in there. It'll come back to me in a moment. So we're bringing it in here. Oh yeah, I remember. I knew it would come back to me. So, one thing I want you to think about is the amount that you're extending through your foot, okay? So as you come on up onto the ball of your foot and as you step, 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 but it's not a hyper extension through here. That's gonna give you quite a small range of motion actually. So what you want to have is anywhere between like a centimeter off the floor to like an inch or two. So we're not wearing like eight inch heels. <laughs> is literally just a tiny lift there. Enough to free you up as you step and to bring in that shimmy with the seagulls. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. We're gonna bring it round. <laughs> wow, amazing. Help yourself to some hydration if you would like some. We're going to move on to another shimmy. Just to finish off. Wow, wow, wow. So that was your choo-choo shimmy. So you had jazz hands and also the choo-choo shimmy. And the third one I want to cover with you in this session is one that might be referred to as uh, perhaps a Moroccan shimmy or a hip twist shimmy. There's many different names. They all refer, or oftentimes refer at least, to the same movement. So we're in our basic stance for this so as you come back in. And then we're going to twist through the waist. Twist, 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 twist. Twist. So as one hip comes forward, the other hip comes back. Your upper half is in neutral there. Forwards, 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 forwards. Relax through your feet, spread out through your toes. Woo! Nice. Try and make that big. Upper half stays still. Nice. Now one of the challenges here is that often that shimmy wants to turn into a uh, uh, vertical shimmy rather than horizontal. So the other shimmy that we did, this one here and the choo-choo were both vertical. The hips are traveling up and down, at least predominantly. Um, in this one, the predominant movement pattern, the plane of movement is horizontally. It's parallel with the floor. So one of the ways that you can prevent your hip from wanting to turn into vertical, and incidentally it wants to turn into vertical movement, because that is the way that we're most used to moving our hips in everyday life. I'm gonna sit down here, you know, um, all that jazz. Um, but also the muscles are stronger that support that movement, generally speaking. Whereas this way takes more abdominal uh, strength, and back strength as well. Not to mention also, not to forget, waist. So one of the things that you can do to help keep the hips on that horizontal plane is 
to stay in neutral through your hips. So really engage through your pelvic floor muscles, drawing your belly button up and back. And then it allows us forwards and back motion. So there's less of this kind of twisting sort of around like this. It, it's here and then it's forwards and back. You'll notice your ability to twist through your waist is so much stronger as soon as you do that. <laughs> well done, let's dance with a few of those just to finish off. That was incredible. Well done, lots of technique in there tonight. If you're watching this on the playback, of course, the this morning or this afternoon, I'm gonna find in here, I've got a nice, somewhere, somewhere. Um, help yourself to some hydration if you'd like some. We have been working muscles probably a lot more than what you noticed in the moment. But uh, yeah, all, all good. Very strengthening. Where is this piece of music? It's disappeared. <laughs> okay, let's go for this one instead. Let's lift upwards. <sighs> Take a big wide stance. Rock the hips out one side, the other side. You want to bring it forward. Bend through your knees. Releasing out through back. Walk it round to one side. Bring it back through center, walk it out to the other side. In 
to center in your own time, unwinding one vertebrae at a time. One way back to center. And bring one foot back, one forwards. Press that heel into the ground, extend through the back of the leg. Bring the hips in neutral. You're gonna release through that calf muscle, wobbles, choo choo shimmies. Pick up your heels and rotate round to the other side, place down. This is the easy way round. If that's tricky for you, however, of course, come right out of it. And then you can place back down one move at a time. Come back into center. Ah. Bring your hands onto your hips. Into center. Aiwa! <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Amazing technique in this session. You did so well. If you've got any questions, I'd be delighted to answer them for you. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe and hit notifications so you can be informed of when the next video goes up. If you'd like to support the creation of these videos, remember you can head along to patreon.com forward slash Little Egypt Studio where you'll find a community of other enjoyers of these videos. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.